So today is June 2nd, uh, right now at 9, about 10 o'clock at night. At Team WikiSpeed in Linwood, Washington. Uh, we have currently finished building just one suspension, suspension module in the front. Uh, sadly, we have ran out of hind joints, but uh, we have successfully created a model these guys. and creating this as a, a model for the future ones. Mm -hmm. Currently, everything went well and they are in, they're actually the same exact way built with the ones that we built with number... Car number eight on Car the front. Eight. Yep, on the uh, untested suspension. We are also needing um, our L brackets, uh, which will uh, put together our dampeners, which these uh, these plates are already pre-cut for, uh, for the bolts and holes, which is awesome. Yeah. So we'll just need to find... Uh, uh, or or, man, or get some L brackets ordered. Woo. And so we'll need, let's see, one, two, two per side of suspension. So that's uh, four for one front suspension. We have two sets of front suspension if Hubert is, so we need at least 16 and then more for the future. So, yep. And what are 16. we getting in the shop today? The yep, we got bearings. we got new, um, New bearing or knuckles? Sure. Yeah, not bearings. We got new knuckles. We do need bearings. Yes, we need bearings. We got a box of uh, knuckles. Awesome. They're all the same. And we have three more boxes. Two of these are rear suspension. I believe they're for Chris Wallace. So that will be awesome because we started uh, building some some brackets. And then uh, I think we have an extra box. Not an extra, but this is uh, one of our front suspension box. And I believe over there on the other side. Uh, which came in a few weeks ago was also a front suspension, uh, including the calipers and knuckles as well. Uh, I realized that one of the larger boxes with a really heavy load is the, the front plate bracket. So uh, in one of these boxes, the smaller one actually had the uh, brake pedals. So we'll have majority of the supplies to start building some uh, front plates for Chris and actually uh, Hubert as well. So we're looking forward to that. And uh, this is William Newing with uh, Kyle. Hello. And we're signing out. Oh, uh, before we sign out, what are a couple of recommendations uh, for people, you know, other than here in Seattle that are doing the same thing that we are? What would we recommend? Uh, as of building the parts, get used to the nuts and bolts and everything because they have specific measurements. Mm -hmm. And uh, handling with these aluminum. Right, I see you're wearing gloves. Uh, it's always important to wear gloves because you can easily get a cut. Those things are MF sharp. Yeah. Yes. That's about it. Excellent. Thank you very much. Signing off.